What's going on guys, it's Hi, and in this video I have for you a new watch that I've only recently picked up, but I've actually been eyeing for some time. This is the Citizen Corso AO 900006B. I first saw this watch a few months back, but decided not to pull the trigger on it because I wasn't in the market for such a watch. But this piece recently went on sale for $81.99, and at that price, I just had to pick it up. That being said, the price of this watch is constantly changing. If you're interested in this timepiece, check out the link in the description for the most up-to-date pricing. Upon first impressions, this is a very typical and straightforward watch. This piece features a 42mm stainless steel case and a silver tone dial. To contrast the dial are black Arabic numerals and blue hands. Sitting at the 3 and 9 o'clock positions are two sub-dials which indicate the day and date. This particular watch comes on a black alligator print leather strap, but if this colorway doesn't suit you, there is a rose gold version with a black dial and brown leather strap. This watch features the Citizen 8635 movement. I'm not going to lie to you, I have no frame of reference for this movement. This is actually the first Citizen watch that I've ever purchased. That being said, Citizen is an absolute powerhouse and is known for making quality quartz movements, even in a low-end watch like this. I have no doubts that this watch will last for years to come. One thing that I do appreciate about this particular movement is the inclusion of Citizen's Echo Drive. To keep it simple, this is essentially Citizen's proprietary light-powered watch technology. This just means that the watch is able to generate power by converting light into energy, whether it's natural or artificial light. Citizen's Echo Drive advertising is a watch that never needs a battery. That is not completely true because there is a battery in this watch, and the battery will eventually die even with the Echo Drive, but we are talking years and years. With this watch, there are a few things that can possibly be considered as negatives. First, Citizen only advertises that this watch is water resistant. They don't even bother to put a meter rating. This likely means that you should not get this watch near water. Sure, the occasional splash from washing your hands will be fine, but this should not be something that you swim with. I don't consider this to be an outright negative because this watch is in no way advertised for any real physical activity. Just looking at it, it is obvious that this is meant to be a dress watch. A watch that's slim, minimal, and looks good with a dress shirt and a suit. Wanting to die with it would be asking more than its purpose. The second possible negative would be the use of a mineral crystal. For watches, the standard for the crystal is of course sapphire. Sapphire is among the hardest materials and is extremely scratch resistant, second only to diamond. This just means that a mineral crystal is not as good. I find that this is a valid concern, but one that is hard to make considering the price of the watch. Strictly speaking for myself, because this is a relatively cheap watch, it will likely take some abuse. This is a watch that I'm more inclined to wearing on days where I'm doing physical activities. Activities that may damage a watch and scratch the crystal. This is simply because of the price. If I were to damage a watch, I would rather damage a watch that cost me $82 rather than one that costs hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Even though I don't want to damage the watch, I think subconsciously I'll be a bit more careless with it. Because of this, I would have definitely preferred a sapphire crystal, but again, I can't really complain considering how relatively cheap this watch is. With a quartz watch, it can be somewhat difficult to say that a particular timepiece is of good value and that it's actually worth it because you can get a quartz watch for literal pennies. So the value of a quartz watch is really in the eye of the beholder. And in my personal opinion, this watch is absolutely worth the price that I paid for it. It's simple, it's elegant, and it looks like it's worth more than it actually does. So if you are looking for a nice classy watch under $100, I definitely think that you should really consider this particular Citizen watch. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.